Welcome to this tutorial video on importing OpenStreetMap files, a new option available in Predictor 2022. Two new import formats are available, OSM for small areas, PBF for large areas. During the import, these files are converted to OSM items. With the website OpenStreetMap.org, you can select a small area anywhere on Earth and export it to an OSM file. For larger areas, you can use the websites geofabric.de and bbabike.org. Three, three new item types are available in Predictor 2022 OSM Area, OSM Line, and OSM Point. These three item types have several attributes. These attributes are based on the information available in OpenStreetMap itself. So during the import, these attributes are filled with the data available in OpenStreetMap. So you get a lot of information in your predictor model. And based on that information, you can then select specific OSM areas, for instance, and convert them into buildings. You could, for instance, assume that the building property, if that's not empty, it is actually a building. So then you can convert, you can search and select in predictor and search uh, all OSM areas with the building property not empty. I will show you in the next example. This is the OpenStreetMap website. You type in that area of the world where you're interested in or simply zoom to that area in the world. In this case I've zoomed to the, uh, the small city of San Maurizio Canavese in Italy. You zoom to that part of the world, you click on export and then an OSM file is created in your download folder. In this case map.osm. Then in predictor you use the file import OpenStreetMap option. It's a new import option in predictor. You then select the file that you have just downloaded that's available in your download uh, folder map.osm and you select the local coordinate system because the information in OpenStreetMap is exported in the WGS84 world coordinate system but you want to convert it to your local coordinate system. And these are the coordinate systems available in Predictor. In this case I've selected Italy Zone 1. Then after the import is done, and that only takes a couple of seconds, you see the model with the OSM items. You see in the display options there are now three new item types available for display. OSM items, just like div items, do not influence the calculation. They're only there for helping you creating your model. So you have to convert these items into real items for your calculation. For instance, buildings, roads and railways. Well, I want to show you how to select and create buildings. You go to the search and select option. You select all OSM areas where the building property is not equal to empty. We can then assume that these are all buildings. Then with the Pay Special option, you can paste this, this selection of OSM areas into building items. So that's a very convenient and intuitive way of using your OSM data and creating buildings. In a similar way, you can select all OSM lines with the property Highway not equal to empty and create roads. And similar, all OSM lines with the Railway property not equal to empty. And create railways. Then you end up with a nice model with buildings, roads and railways. OSM OpenStreetMap does not uh, provide you with height information, so that's a down. But when you have to start from scratch, this is a very convenient and easy way. You can then for instance provide all your buildings with the same height if you don't have any other information. And that's what I done. So here you see a 3D view of all these buildings with all uh, similar heights. Then a larger area. This is the bbbike.org website where you can select a larger part of the world. Then select the format. You can give it the name of the area and then you have to supply your email address because bbbike will send you a download link with the download of this PBF file. And this is how the email looks. You then get an email stating that your area Turin format is ready for download. 
in this case I've selected the whole city of Tur Turin in Italy. Then in predictor it will look like this if you convert the OSM areas and the OSM lines uh, to buildings, roads and railways. So that's a very convenient and easy way to convert OpenStreetMap data into buildings, road and railways into your predictor model. Thank you for your attention.